Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to Necrosmith, where in the last episode we managed to finish the first disc. Now, what comes after the first disc? Who knows? I guess the second disc is uh, what logically seems to come next. We have upgraded a couple of things around and about. We've also managed to get three fairly good artifacts set up. We've got the Unexploded Mine, which gives dead received plus 200 to maximum HP when closer to the tower, so our defenders are going to be a lot stronger. We've also got the Crown of Power, a dead who destroys an enemy layer fully restores their HP. And finally, we've got the Curus. All dead receive plus 10 armor, but their speed is reduced by 20%. I don't mind them getting places slower if they survive when they get there. We've also, of course, updated the cat over here. This looks amazing. I love all of the different things that the cat gets as uh, their bed upgrades a bit. Now, there are a couple of other things that are choice upgrades for us, but they're fairly expensive, so we'll see if we manage to get enough gubbins in this run to make any of that happen. But with that, let's go to the key disc. So we had the portal disc, got the key disc, and then the master disc thereafter. This looks a little bit more interesting. Uh, we didn't see any particularly nasty biomes in that last area, but now we got a volcano and whatever's happening over here. Okay, let's see what we get. I wonder if we're going to get some new body parts. I very much hope so. In your own time, game. <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, we did a good job last time. Right, okay, first and foremost, go forth, cat. Find all of the gub gubbins for us. You've got a lot longer. Wow, really? We're already getting cyclopean body parts? What kind of shenanigans are these? Uh, what? We've got a harpy head with a diadem. Okay, and uh, we found the master's hat. 35% chance to skip cooldown after using a spell. Now that one actually isn't too bad. Well done, cat, my lord. I was so focused on uh, the cat's journey there, I didn't do anything else over here. Right, first and foremost, can I... Oh, no, not tower add-ons. We want to see if I can make anything. We can. We can make a bass dork skeleton. Well, may as well get one of these out there. Go, go, go. And uh, you can immediately start grabbing all the gubbins. But what else did we pick up here? We've got a harpy body. Uh, doesn't really give us wings. We've got harpy wing with steel feathers. This is only one wing, though. So it wouldn't give us flight right away. Uh, I think I will hold off on that one. Uh, that being said, I might go ahead and put together a bit of a harpy body. One wing won't do much for us, though, but steel wing feathers is 149 damage. My lord. This is a very expensive body right out the gate, though. Uh, the body is nothing really to write home about, but sure, we'll add it. Uh, let's see. Do we want to give maybe this throwing axe spell? Sure. Uh, orc burial mount. I would welcome that. Actually, if we pop on some extra armor, we're up to 16 armor already. You can be a dedicated layer destroyer, and we are promptly going to throw away some bits and bobs. Let's see what we can afford to throw away. Get rid of you. Uh, that's only a seven, but we'll get both. We're both. There we go. Right, head out and destroy everything, please and thank you. Okay, I like it. Those look like they're going to do a lot of damage. Right, how much do we need? We need quite a lot of uh, ore, and it's going to be a little while before we've got enough, but uh, that's okay. Uh, I can always try and take you on in a moment. They're going for the Harpy, the fools. Uh, how much regen does the Harpy have? has no regen, actually. So it's all down to doing damage and resisting damage herself, which I think... Yeah, she seems to be more than capable of doing. She's not taking any damage yet, which I'm all about. Uh, I could help out, but there's really no reason to. All right, let's see if there's anything new that we can do. No, we still don't have enough for that, sadly. I should just look up there, honestly. It's easy enough to do. Uh, well, I'm going to wait. I don't think we need to, to rush through this. I'm going to see if we can get some better body... What the heck is that? Okay, maybe a pause on that one for a second. Fire Elemental Head. Fire is the ability. It costs 50 by itself. I feel... I feel like they, maybe this... This is calling out to us right now. No, no, no. I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist, well, for a very short amount of time. We'll try and throw together some basic uh, basic creatures to get out there and grab us some bits and bobs, though. Uh, do I have... It's uh, still a Bastard Orc skeleton. I, I haven't put together... I think I've put together a single skeletal mage. 
the skeleton the elemental skeleton but we haven't got a basic skeletal warrior we've got soldier and ranger but not a basic one let me see what i can do we've only got one leg though so that's gonna make it difficult well, regardless of what we do okay we need more more basic skeleton bits instead never mind we'll see what i can do with the orcs do i have an orc skeleton i don't that makes me so sad oh well I need someone to go out and grab me some resources, so uh, enjoy, I guess. I'm sure you will. Uh, we'll pop together another one as well. I don't really mind if this one is a bit of a hodgepodge of bits, as long as it can do the job. There we go. We need 16 for this. I'm going to sacrifice a harpy leg, because we seem to have a lot of those. Right, you are also going to be heading out, but first... Oh, no. Our harpy is taking a bit of damage over there. And uh, hopefully this is going to be able to... Oh, wow, it's not destroying them. Oh, Lord. They just got through all of that. Let me see if my lightning can take them out. Pop. It hasn't. Uh, all right. You are being recalled. Like, right now, actually. Let's get you back to base. And I want you to be on base protection duties. Okay, we're dealing with a lot more damage now. Dear Lord, relic found. A lollipop. A dead receives plus 20 regeneration when close to a boss. Okay, I kind of like that, but this is terrifying right now. No, we were already defeated. I grossly underestimated this place, apparently. All right, then before I set up someone to go and destroy layers, I need someone who is capable of defending the base. Kind of an embarrassing loss there. Have you ever thought of changing your persona of a mysterious genius who only reveals his plans at the very end to something more sociable? I wonder this too. I have. And? And then I made my cat the book. Now we communicate. It's rather heavy, you know. With more wisdom comes more sorrow. Oh, isn't that the truth? Well, new disc, new dangers. I hope that's what you planned. It is. So what are we looking for? We're looking for... We are looking for something, aren't we? We are. Oh my god, this is getting tiresome. Treasure, a weapon, knowledge. Yes. Okay, I feel that that was actually a fair response. I don't, I don't even feel bad about that one. That was completely fair. All right, let's uh, jump back in. I might even... This might be a... a position where we need to grind a little bit but uh, we absolutely were not ready for that fight i feel very silly but uh we'll see what we can do let's launch the kitten right next up let's immediately get out a bastard orc skeleton to go and grab me some loot go forth right away and then i'm going to send out another one to help you also grabbing loot go forth also go 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 grab all of the gubbins I can use my uh, lightning to help out with this a little bit. A pocket magnet. Control, uh, the control dead gains an aura of abundance. All resources within this aura are collected automatically. Oh, that's actually quite good. I wouldn't mind that at all, actually. Right, hopefully you can finish this off. I might have been a bit hasty using my magic there, but honestly, I don't mind using it too much. As long as we get something useful out of it. I'm going to need a defender here quite badly have a look we've got a cyclops leg not what we're looking for the orc body isn't terrible though we're already getting such interesting body parts um some good regeneration on that limb uh we've got an orc leg we've got the harpy head i don't mind having the harpy head brings two cyclops and mummy, mummy parts i would very much like those uh but i think while that gives me war generation, I, I like the uh, I like the harpy head. It seems to be quite useful for us. Shockwave wing. Hmm. I mean, I kind of like the driftwood. It's one six six. This is only forty three though. Whereas that's one four nine. You know what? Sure, we'll we'll set you up. We've got a fire elemental body. Volcano awakening. Nineteen eighty. Um. Okay. It's worth eighty by itself. How is this even a thing that can happen? I accept. Um, oh, we've got the other wing. Hmm. Maybe we could go for two shockwave wings then. Uh, we've got steel claws. Okay, th this is already an obnoxiously expensive unit. That brings the cost down a little bit, but not by an enormous amount. I want to save this for something truly special. 
Right, I need to get a lot of mana together to see if we can make this. And I have no great uh, confidence that we're going to be able to do that. Uh, we'll get rid of the Cyclops leg. The Lizard leg as well. The Lizard head straight away. We're up to 80. I just need a little bit more. I could put this armored body on. Gives us a little bit more armor. Sure, I kind of like that. <clears throat> get rid of that body. Right, uh, let's go ahead for you. Right, you're on tower defense duties. Making you a flyer doesn't actually help out that much, though. Realistically. Let's save those for later. Let's instead go with the explosive. And this. There we go. Four regeneration. Only 14 armor. That's not the, the best. But... Actually, if we pop this down, that's 18 armor. That might be a bit better. We've got some regeneration. Okay, you'll you'll do as a protector of here. Especially because the legs now also do a d bunch of damage. I don't mind using the uh, shield here. All right, let's get you going. Release. Let's see what you can do. Hopefully, you can uh, hold the fort. Uh, my resource gatherers are being harassed over there, which I'm not super happy about. Okay, so far it isn't terrible. We are managing. We've got a, a, a Draconoid leg. Also has fire. Hmm. These are going to cost so much for me to do anything with. I really need to get someone out there gathering resources. But having a couple of defenders around here will generate resources because they'll pick up stuff that gets dropped. There we go. The uh, Cyclops head with Slave Mask will be amazing for someone at the base, I feel. Elemental Leg also does fire. Uh, regeneration 5. Oh, I really want to put something together with all of that. But let's go with the, I think, the Draconoid Leg. Yes. Yeah, we'll grab a Draconoid Leg down here. Uh, what kind of body do we want? Let's have a look at what bodies we have. We've got some with armor and regeneration. Oh, obviously, that's amazing, but uh, let's not go for that one just yet. Armor regen here with the Cyclops body. I think that's okay. Uh, we could get another leg with... Oh, fire, as in it can walk over fire. That might be what it is. That would make sense, actually. Let's get another harpy leg, since that gives us a nice bit of uh, attack as well. And then finally, the boulder toss, that seems like a really nice one as well. And maybe we could go with... The, oh, what the heck are you? Don't like you, whatever you are. We could put down one wing just for the damage output. That becomes a very expensive body, though. So it's going to cost me a pretty penny to put together, if I can even get there. Uh, okay, come on now. This is this is so amazing. I almost don't want that there now. Nevertheless, it is, and uh, we're going to use it. All right, up to 84. Let's get rid of one harpy head. I don't feel the harpy heads are that useful for me. Uh, we will be rid of an orc body. We've got enough. Let's have you defending as well. Pop, release, and also let's just nuke you. There we go. Very nice. Stagnant pool. Bring Sue Lizard or Swamp Creature body parts every night. That should do. We've got a lot of defense here now. An awful lot of defense. Can I put together... No, we haven't got anything that can head out for cheap anyway. What do we got over here? Hopefully nothing too bad. The knockback is really helpful. The knockback is hugely helpful. The, the uh, shockwave, that is going to do some work for us, I think. All right, let's put together a basic harpy legs. We could put together a harpy you can fly. That way they can pretty much go anywhere in order to grab components. Uh, let's see, a body. Let's pop you in. I don't have another harpy body, sadly. As for the head, we could just go with an orc head, honestly. Uh, but the harpy head can see much further, which I can only assume affects the AI in deciding where it's going to go. But we don't have a lot of regeneration if we do that. Uh, maybe, let's see, have we got any legs that offer regeneration? No. Hmm. And only one arm that offers regeneration. Maybe this is just going to be a case that we're going to just have to accept what we've got. I'll see if we can get a bit of uh, mana here. Actually, Kitten can go and grab mana. 
There we go. Kitten doesn't care about combat. Nothing harms Kitten. There we are. Yeah, we're getting a lot of a lot of nasties coming our way though. I think this is gonna, we're going to have to play very defensively in this area. Maybe we have headed, uh, come over here a little bit early, but we're here now and I don't intend to go back. Ooh. Harpy head with helmet. Hmm. Very tempted. Stupendously tempted, in fact. Let's see what we can do. We made just a pure harpy over here. Oh, who do we lose? We lost one of our resource gatherers. That makes sense. So... Decent bit of uh, vampirism, but not a lot of regen. Not not a huge amount of survivability here. Nevertheless, I'm fairly certain we can get to this and set them up quickly. All right, let's release them now. Go forth. You should be able to move quickly. And you should also be able to keep enemies at bay. That's the main reason we went for the, uh, the shockwave there. That's a lot of shockwave that you can output. All right, nice. All right, what are we going to go for first? Lizards or swamp creature or cyclops mummy parts? I think we're going to go with lizard. And swamp creature, of course, because swamp creature is quite a powerful one, I think. I feel that swamp creature is going to be very, very useful for us. All right, we've still got two people out and about. Until we get people who can fly or cross fire, that's not going to be the greatest help to us. I am starting to feel a little bit more confident now about sending out a... If we can build something very powerful to go and take on the uh, the layers, that's what I would like to do. Of course, we can start thinking about the Titan as well. Four fleshy body parts for this. Reduces speed, but gives four regen. Um, I don't really care for this one as much. We could get the Master of Flesh arm... Um, along with the bone arm, I think. Gives us, uh, well, it's not the best speed, really, but the fleshy legs actually give us huge amounts of speed. So this isn't a bad Titan, in my opinion. We're kind of leaning into both components. I don't want to use this. Though, that being said, having the Titan defend, giving extra regen, you know, hmm. I'm convincing myself. Maybe I shouldn't. Master of Arms with Elsa's. Dear God, 28 1,197 Ulsa Dan. What the... I don't even want to know. Don't even want to know. But that's who we're going to try and revive as our main defender. If that works out, we'll be grand. Uh, if it doesn't, it's going to be awful, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. All right, it looks like we've got some uh, uh, devils coming up from the south. All right. Looks like we're stuck here for a little bit. I'm just going to be making some units to get out there and gather resources whilst I prepare to put together a stronger unit for smashing layers. But I can only assume they're going to do a lot of damage when we get there. So we really want something powerful for that. Every picked up resource restores 100 HP to the dead. Now that is going to be an amazing relic to have out there eventually. I'm very, very much looking forward to that one. Okay, we're being overwhelmed a little bit, and our guardians are not doing the best of jobs. Let's get some gas going. I need a bit more mana than I've currently got to be able to get things on the move. Uh, let's see about upgrading things. Let's get some more mummy and cyclopean parts. Okay. Uh, actually, no. Now we've got it. Ah, oh, Cyclops is almost gone, though. Is it gone? Where is the Cyclops? Cyclops is right there. Let's get you a big old heal, Cyclops. Womp. Wow. But we are putting together a Draconic Head double, a Elemental Fire Body, wings, one of them with steel feathers, and a steel clawed harpy leg, and a swamp leg. This has got one, two, this has got six modes of attack. That better be enough to take on the scoundrels. Uh, do we want them over here? Specifically? I Not specifically, but that's where we're going to release them. Go. I need you to do great things. Now, let's have a quick watch of this. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Yes. That is perfect. Now, are you going to be able to withstand a lot of damage? Hopefully you can. You've got 19 armor after all. Yes, you are melting the the uh, layers, but you are taking damage, so I'm going to have to have a watch. But when you kill the layer, you get a full heal. So that should work out for us in the long run. My goodness, though. 
Uh, we need more like that, really. We've got another uh, fire elemental head over here. We've got a mummy head. I wouldn't mind getting a curse uh, equipped defender. We've got... Uh, that's not the best body that we could have, realistically. I think we'll go with the mummy body just for the regen. Uh, as for legs, I could give you fire. I'm not sure we're strictly going to need it, though. Um, we could go for a lizard leg, which gives ni uh, some nice regeneration. Uh, you've not got a lot of defense, uh, sadly. Uh, I could give you the lizard arms and maybe just some feathers so that you can dole out a bit of extra damage the disc though is also quite nice and comes with a lot of armor yeah you'd be up to 21 armor at this point good re regen you got some decent defenses there i do need an awful lot of mana though so i'm gonna have to start sacrificing some of the more expensive bits there's no way i'm sacrificing that though that uh, that we keep uh, let's get rid of these. Want quite a lot more. Am I going to be able to get there in time? Mm, we're almost there. There we go. Right, release you at the base. Go. Keep this place safe, please and thanks. A necromancy enhancer or bone body parts cost one man or below. Not really what we want for reasons I've stated in other areas in the last video. Okay, I want to see how the curse works. Seems to be doing a good job. As long as we've got a bunch of people with knockback, we should be able to hold this area. Though I'm starting to see uh, health dropping a little bit faster than I would like. Do you have any... You do have innate regeneration. Honestly, we need vampirism on the defenders. That seems to be a big thing for us. Uh, how are you doing destroying the layers? You're heading up to this one up top. That should be great once you get there. I do need some people going out and gathering resources again, though. Uh, other than the cat. Though, having the cat go out and gather resources is particularly effective, because they gather them very quickly. Well done, kitten. All right. Okay, with that done, let's have a look. Can I make anyone? Yes, we can. Okay, I'm going to make a couple of very cheap... Uh, gatherers. And honestly, that is probably the strong... A dead restores 1,000 HP if nearby ally dies. Oh, okay, the Phoenix Feather. But uh, that is definitely something that having the uh, the tower component that makes bones really cheap is I could make a small army of resource collectors. And I would very much be okay with that. Uh, you can go up from here. There we are. Let's leave the defenders to take care of all of this. Though I do need to gather up enough body parts to be able to get a titan before too long. But that is going to be intensely important. But right now, everything is going into protection rather than uh, rather than attack. And I still need to get the components to repair the tower because we've taken a lot of damage. When they do get through, they really, really make the best of it while they're there. Uh, that being said, I could pop together a quick mummy. I wonder what a full mummy would look like and what it would be able to do. Uh, Alright, we can see about this, sure. Maybe I want a mummy to go out to uh, gather resources. We can check it out, if nothing else. Uh, let's burn these up. Sure, and I'll release you from here. Ah, uh, we didn't get anything for it. Sad. Oh well. I like the uh, the bandage spin there, though. That's actually quite cool. Oh, can't afford it. Need to remember I can just look over there. All right. We've got four minutes before the main attackers arrive. Uh, rather, the uh, the Titan uh, attackers get over here. Oh, we've got the dra Draconoid Wings. Nice. Okay. It doesn't give me an attack, though, sadly. Uh, the, the Fire Elemental Head also doesn't give me an attack, which is a bit of a shame. Oh well. I'm sure we'll be able to get something together. These attackers are doing a good job now, and the Cyclops is slowly regenerating. Let's go and have a watch of what's going on over here. Well done, you've taken out another layer. Uh, it's going to take the pressure off a little bit. And of course, you can fly over the lava, so it's not a problem for you to get around either. I could bring you back quickly, so that you can go out in whatever direction the nearest layer is from the, the tower. Mm. 
That, ooh, what did we just lose? We didn't lose the Cyclops. We lose the Harpy with the high, uh, with the high vampirism. Ooh, that's not great, actually. I'm a little bit concerned about that. Okay. Well, let's have a look at what other components we've got, then. I could try and put together another Harpy once we've got the wings. But for now, we're just going to have to do without. Ah, there we are. Alright, we can put together another Harpy here. Or another flying unit, rather. Uh, do we have a body that would give me the ability to... No, we don't. We don't have anything that would give any kind of fire attack. Though, that being said, again, we don't actually need it if we're flying. At least I don't think we do. Uh, we have it anyway because of the uh, Draconoid arm. Oh, that's actually kind of awesome. All right, we could go with Swamp Stench then. We could get a bit of Vampirism here. I think the Vampirism is what we need. The armor is really nice, of course. Uh, yeah, we are kind of... Wait a sec. Earth Elemental Head? Eight armor? Not a very good view, though. Actually, really bad view. Uh, speed wouldn't be amazing. Let's have a think. Leeches is quite a nice attack. The swamp feet are fantastic. I don't need both swamp feet. Unless I'm making a full swamp... Actually, can I? Oh, can I? Can we finally have a swamp spirit? <gasps> we can! Okay, that's worth it. Let's try and make this happen, then. Let's sacrifice some components, and I'm going to have you... Should I also have you defend? No, I kind of want you going out there and grabbing stuff, so let's see what this gives us. Old Swamp Spirit. Oh. Nothing. It just it just gives us the recipe. <laughs> it gives us a bunch of gold. Fair enough. Uh, I mean, you know, what can you say about that? You get out there, grab grab the resources. You're going to be quite strong, thankfully. So, hopefully, this is going to allow you to uh, safely gather the resources. But let's have the kitten out as well. There we go. We can uh, quickly grab everything. They're not going to do anything fast, but that's fine for now. I think it should be all right. I wouldn't mind getting rid of this. We've got only two minutes until the Titans arrive. Oh, no. I spotted it just too late. What was it fighting? And where was it fighting it? It was fighting down here. What took you out? Did you manage to destroy whatever it was? I certainly hope so. That was a blow. That was a huge blow, actually. Very sad about that one. Uh, Alright, I think it might be time for us to just focus on getting the Titan up and running then. So with that, let's sacrifice components from the bottom of the list upwards, because it doesn't matter the quality of the components, only that I get enough of them. Okay, let's go through all of these. Cyclops legs as well. We're keeping the boulder. Definitely. Uh, do we have that many? Oh, we really don't. I would need to sacrifice a lot of these in order to get it. Uh, the fact <laughs> mummy parts are considered flash. I, 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 desiccated flash is still flash, I suppose. All right, there we go. And I'm going to need a lot more mana for this, so we'll start sacrificing the bones before I actually make them value one. Go. I need a little bit more. I'm sure we can get that. There we go. Right. Revive you. Pomp. And I would like you to protect the tower at all costs. There we go. Oh, okay. Alright, that is that is quite an awesome looking attack. I approve. Uh, as for you, I am now releasing you to go hunt layers. Go forth. And as for you, should I release you as well? No, you've got a really good knockback that I quite like. I think keeping you around is going to be important to me. All right, we need to take off this enemy layer there. It's 12,000, though. Uh, hello. I can help out a little bit. Womp. Could also possibly give you a bit more health as well. I think I'm going to have to, otherwise you're going to die. Not that you're actually... That, you're a fairly inexpensive unit, thinking about it. Maybe I shouldn't have been uh, investing all those resources to keep you alive, but... 
Never say I don't care for my minions. Got like no components anymore. It's kind of depressing. Warm storage gives the flashy dead the rotting remains ability. That one would be useful. Let's go ahead and grab that. HP of body parts with flesh is reduced by one, but the dead leave behind a cloud of rot when destroyed. Now, if we can get really cheap uh, bones as well, I could just make... Uh, this was suggested to me by the way in the comments. Just make a bunch of super uh, disposable bone minions with one flesh component so that they have the, the uh, rotting dead ability with them when they die. That would be very, very much appreciated. Uh, want to get the orc body parts. Having more body parts is super important, and it would have made getting the titan a lot easier as well. All right, you are still focusing on gathering. I, having a slow gatherer is painful. So, so terribly painful. But it is what we've got. Uh, on the plus side, you've got enough pushback that you mostly handle yourself without too much worry. So, uh, I'm okay with that. How are you doing? You're actually not doing too bad. Gathering all of the things. Nice. Once we've gotten everything from around here, then I won't have to worry too much about it. All right, on that note... Oh, really? Uh, yeah, we've seen you before. Didn't like it then either. Let's hope that our Titan can take you out at long range, because otherwise you're going to cause me problems. I think. Very big problems, actually. We'll see what we can do. Can I get a second Titan? No, we're still off from being able to put together a second Titan. There we go, that's right. Continue to apply lots of damage from afar. Oh, they can damage my tower from afar as well. Please kill it quickly. No, oh, well, it was nice being alive for a short time. Well, okay. So we are that particular Titan. We need something much stronger to deal with them. Hmm. Can't grab that. Uh, let's have a look at our relics at this point. We've got a couple now. We've got... Well, the dead receive plus 20 regeneration when close to a boss. 35% uh, chance to skip cooldown after using a spell. The controlled dead gain an aura of abundance. A dead restores 1,000 HP if nearby ally dies. Ah, here we are. Have you picked up resource? Restores 100 HP to the dead. That will be a useful one for our skeleton gatherers. The dead who destroys an enemy layer resourceful history. That's so good. Uh, the unexploded mine is nice as well. For those early defenders. But I think I'm going to swap these out. Let's see how that goes. Right, next up. Do we want to unlock something new? Or... Get... Upgrade... Uh, upgrade something or, or unlock something new. I think we want to upgrade something. Yeah. Getting more body parts would be nice. But it is going to lock us out from getting anything else. Nevertheless, let's do it anyway. There we are. Necromancer's table number two. Okay, I think I'm going to try once more on, that, uh, on the key disc. But this is turning out to be a lot harder than the first level. The first level lulled me into a massive false sense of security. We may need to grind a little bit there to get the gold to upgrade our castle's components. And that might be something worth considering. Right, let's first get you out there gathering things for me. No, stop, please. Tunk, there we are. And release. Go, go, go. And the cat as well. Now, what are the areas going to be? Oh, wow, we've already got... So much. Okay, fair enough. Uh, swap spirit body. Definitely put one of these together. Swamp leg. Very much appreciate. Also, drift, driftwood strike. Uh, I guess the lizard man bomb. That would be fine. And the lizard man head. Ultimately, that makes a reasonably good defender. Not, fun, not stupid good. But uh, a burning body part repairs the tower for the amount of mana received. What? Oh. Oh, that would be very good. The ability to, of my own volition, repair the tower. That is actually quite amazing. Uh, actually, I would like to pop that there. There we are. And that, you know what? We could probably afford to make, yeah, a uh, old swamp spirit. There we go. Let's make you. 
Uh, it's going to cost us a fair bit of mana, though. Uh, we will shed some Earth Elemental Leg. A lot of armor, but we're not going to keep it. Let's say goodbye to those. There we go. Now, what are we going to have you do? You're slow as molasses, so I kind of feel that protecting here... Whoa, 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 whoa. Steel Golem Head. Still, I think having you defend... Sure, let's just get you out there. Release. Now, Steel Golem Head. Now, that is enticing. Let's get the stomps as well. Uh, we can have explosions, and we can have a little... Well, no, we'll, we'll go with mostly a swamp creature with lizard and steel golem components. It's going to be an expensive one to put together, but uh, shouldn't be too terribly difficult for us to do. There we are, we're almost there already. Just a little bit more. I need a tiny bit of mana from these ones, and we should be golden. Assuming they can keep them occupied. See, our, our spells right now are nowhere near what we would need them to be to be able to uh, take out the uh, attackers. That is a problem for us. Alright. Let's see if we can't start putting some orcs together. In terms of the orc components, though, let's have a look. We've got the orc punisher, the orc bastard, the orc oppressor over here. Uh, do we have just a basic orc? Orc skeleton cutthroat. Yes, we do. Okay, then uh, we're not going to have to worry about that one now. Alright. I'll just burn that off. Send the cat out again. Womp. Nice job. Alright, what? Ooh, mantis components. I very much like the mantis claws. They're a useful component in my opinion. Go with a short sure, leeches again. No reason not to. Could go with the blaster, actually. It's not a lot of damage, like at all, but I I'm not really worried about my resource collectors having a lot of damage. Also you got the leeches anyway. This is just enough to keep things at bay. But it looks like we had spawned in a biome with the harpies right from the beginning the last couple of times. And we were definitely benefiting from that. Right, we need 90 to be able to make this happen. Should be able to get there fairly quickly. There we go. Release and go grab me some components, please. We desperately need those resources. Frankenstein's head. Plus 400 HP to dead with body parts belonging to three or more different races. That will be easy to do. I definitely think that would be a, a good one for us to set up. Absolutely. Very much on board with that. All right, do we have anything that we can send out? No, we need another skull. It would be beneficial for me to make a lot of the basic units and just find all the secret recipes as quickly as I can. Because that is massively going to affect how... Uh, well, mostly my resource gatherers, I feel. With a couple of high-powered enemies, but honestly, I think the Chimeras are the most powerful. Mixing of the abilities seems to be the best way forward in that regard. Still haven't got any libraries open yet. Right, we have got you. Let's release you right away. Go grab all the components, please. You are absolutely going to die. I have made a poor decision here. Uh, maybe just not have you take any damage. I am ready to pull you back at a moment's notice. But it looks like your allies are able to offer you shield there. That was very nice. Very nice indeed. Well done. To keep that kind of teamwork up, please and thank you. All right. Release the kitten. Oh. Kitten isn't yet ready to release. Now the kitten is ready to release. Go forth. Grab all of the gubbins. The grotto is empty. Finally got a blueprint. All armored body parts receive plus one armor. Oh, that's so good. So fantastic. And plus one to receive, uh, revive and burn cost. Yes. That is the sort of stuff we need. And now that we've got that, it pays for me to redesign some of the things I was about to release. Uh, do we have any additional body parts here? It gives us up to 23. Because again, the main thing here is just making something that can survive to get what I needed to do, which is literally just to gather resources. What on earth is that? 
Uh, it's a construct. We've got buckler shield there. Okay. Do we have a better helmet? Not really. But I feel that is a, a better head overall. Right, okay. Let's sacrifice some in order to get all of that together. We've got loads of these arms. There we go. Right, release the hideous chimera there. My lord, I, I'm not even sure that's just one thing. I think you're made of like four or five different uh, components. But that is going to be much better. You've got a decent speed on you. 84 speed. In fact, you're the fastest unit that I've got. Also the heaviest ar armored of all of my units. You should do have a good job of uh, getting all of the early bits. But now that we've got that, I don't think my earlier creatures got the upgrades retroactively, so that answers a little bit of a question that has been posed a few times on uh, whether tower upgrades are applied retroactively. I don't think they are, based on everyone's current armor values. But we absolutely need to get those units out there destroying towers. Something along those lines. Uh, do we have any Titan parts that have armor? Don't think we do, actually. Which is a bit of a problem. No, we do not. That is very much a problem, then. Still think you're going to be the best uh, Titan that we can make, but it's going to be a while before we can make you. Alright, well, given that, then, let's go for some armored components. And they are going to get the priority, even though they'll have lower damage right now. Having some armored components is better than none. Get some regeneration then as well. No armed legs. Oh, damn. That is deeply dissatisfying. It's only 26 armor. Uh, we can still make it happen, I suppose. There we are. We'll take our speed up to 60. Yeah, let's get you out there gra grabbing resources as well. We're going to try overwhelming the resource gatherers this time, since uh, previous attempts we have not been doing the resource gathering nearly as well. And I think that really, really messes up later on. You've got to have a good balance between uh, getting out there and finding stuff and also uh, uh, gathering, uh, sorry, uh, defending the castle. All non-magical weapons get plus one damage. Not a huge priority for me right now, but I guess I could take it. Still, I would rather wait to get this. Having two extra armor on every body part, and then you get uh, five body parts, uh, sorry, six body parts with that, that's going to be huge. Hello there. Please don't be around anymore. That is amazing. Grab that. We need some more armored components. The Oh, the, the sickles on the mantis arms are armored by nature. That is huge. Huge and wonderful. I uh, will grab you for the regen. Necromancy Enhancer. All bone body parts cost one mana when revived and when burned. Not what we're aiming for just yet. Really want some more armored body parts here. Gonna have to pop the gas because we've got a lot of enemies getting way too close to the tower. Ooh, taking a bit of damage there. But it's okay. It's okay. We're fine for the time being, I think. For the most part, we should be alright. There we go. Armored head. Right. Have we got any more? Le we haven't got any armored legs. Damn it. Most unsatisfactory. Oh, well. We've still got a good bit of armor on this. 34 armor is nothing to be sniffed at. Let's get you out gathering resources as well. You can probably walk past all of the enemies here. And you're a decent speed as well. 68, 31, 42, 32, and 39. Uh, kind of all over the place, I suppose, but uh, it's alright. They should be alright with it. There we go, getting, getting a decent amount in at this point. But we need more armoured bo body parts, definitely, before I start looking to send out a group. I think... Yeah, honestly, my just my basic gatherers are doing a good job. Just because of how hardy they are. As soon as I've got enough, I'll pop that library over there, get a new building that might be able to work for us. For now, though, let's start putting together the best body that we can that's got armor on. Uh, only three armor there. Oh, actually, you know the Mantis arms, that will work. And as for the armored torso, we'll have to be that for now. Got a Cyclops there, good regeneration. Not the best, but it'll do. 
There's only 25 protection though right now, which is really not good enough. We definitely need a lot more than that. All right, let's take this out as well. Pop. Sculptor's Workshop gives the dead the Petra Mortis ability. When killed, the dead become a stone statue. Not a bad one, all things said. Ah, there we go, some uh, natural armor. How heavily armored is it, though? Five. Sure, let's get you going. There we are. Also, now we've got a body part that's going to give us some more body parts. That is 100% worth it. Uh, let's grab that as well. Uh, you know what, we'll grab all of these early ones. There we are. That'll help out a fair old bit. And also gives us a lot more health on the tower to boot. So, not at all a problem there. Ooh, okay, this is much better than this arm. Actually, no it's not. That's got five armor. Not a lot of damage, though. Whereas this has got 158 versus the 20. Okay, so I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of armor there. Uh, I'd rather not have to, of course, but uh, this is the way it is. I could pop you there. Okay. How much would that lower things? We lose a lot of health and regen, but we do get a lot more armor, and ultimately having high armor means that we don't need the regen, so I think I'm more in favor of that. Two of these legs are going to be slow. No, you're not, actually. Never mind. Wait, what's happening, and how much armor do you have? You've got 34 armor, and this place is melting you. Oh. Yep. Yeah. I wanted to see how much damage was coming your way. A decent amount. Okay. Noted. Oh, you were so far away though. What on earth were you doing up there? I admire your your dedication to the cause, but you were just out there gathering resources. My god. Madness. Alright, let's grab you. And sure, we'll we'll start using this just to get the bones together. Okay. Uh we've now got 34 armor here. You're know, reasonably fast and you've got some decent damage potential. I will send you out to destroy the early uh, early layers, I think. Let's just hope that you can make it. Do we have a better helmet? We do actually have a better helmet now. Lose a little bit of armor, but a lot of vampirism there, and I think that is ultimately going to be more valuable to us. Do we have any armored body part? No, we really don't. Okay, it's good enough. It'll have to be anyway. So, release... Go forth to the first layer you can find. Quite slow now, unfortunately, but that is the way it is. Uh, you'll eventually get it. The, the main thing is that you can actually get close enough to do damage before they, they potentially take you out. I'm hopeful that the first layers are not going to have enough armor penetration for it to be a big thing for you. We'll see, though. We will find out very, very soon how much armor penetration they've got. We are getting a good bit of mana, enough to get a titan together at the very least. Now let's see what you're able to do. Are these able to get through your armor? No, no they're not. They can't do anything to you, so they're just going to follow you around, and that's absolutely fine by me. You're completely distracting them. Now the real thing is, is this going to do damage to you? It is doing a little bit, yes. Seven damage a pop. And how much armor did you have? You had 33. So they're doing 40 damage a pop. Ooh, getting up to that is going to be a big ask. That being said, if I'd saved up for that, I would have been able to do it. Uh, well, no, I'd almost have been able to do it. The main thing is that your, uh, your vampirism is holding you together in this attack right now. Should be okay. Right. What have we got in terms of bodies with armor? Ooh. The dead reassem uh, sorry, assembled using secret recipes. Receive plus 400 to maximum haste. That's all of them. Okay, that is an amazing relic. I must say I am impressed. Okay, these legs are the better ones here. That does a lot of damage, but the armor on these is going to be grand. Uh, how much, how much speed do they get? They got 38 speed, so actually this would be a better life. And this has got even more. Warm storage, yes. Rotting corpses is definitely something we need. But uh, no, I'm going to go for the armor's workshop first. We will wait on that one. Uh, okay, so steel golem arm with gatling gun. Armor 10. Yes. Steel golem arm with spike, uh, spark gap tesla coil. Armor 10. 
Also, yes. Wow, we've almost fixed the armor problem. Handedly. Uh, at this point, I could probably afford to just give regeneration. As long as we get a uh, helmet with a decent armor, we're golden. Yep. 39. Okay, I'm going to hold off on... Ooh, what have we got over there? We've got a Jotun leg. 60 speed. It doesn't have attack. Do I strictly care about that? It's got a ridiculous amount of health. Yeah, it makes you faster too. Okay, let's get get that. But we are going to be waiting on the uh, gold... Ne uh, sorry, the ore needed to be able to get the... Uh, a final upgrade for us. Hopefully, our cat is going to be able to grab a bit of that going out. We haven't got any actual uh, gatherers right now doing that job, so it's a little bit of a problem. We managed to bring in a little bit more ore. Uh, uh, no, actually, that's a lie. We've got a couple of gatherers out there doing their, their bit. And I appreciate them. Mightily. Keep it up. Okay, we've got it. Let's get that built. Oh, cost has come down. Really? It was so much more expensive before. No, wait, it's the wrong one. It was the armory. <laughs> uh, you see what you think you're going to see, not what you're actually looking at. I am a dumb. Of course, I could do away with the Jotun leg, and I could just give two earth elemental legs here. That would also work quite well actually uh do we have anything else we've got jotun on with ice sword over here uh, they're not going to be better than the robot arms there's just no way uh, i could of course just put this in i mean we would lose the leeches which are doing some of the best damage that we're doing on this this unit though i could give you laser eyes um possibly actually no no Maybe, actually. It would, it would increase a couple of things. We'd lose the vampirism, though, and that's that's a pain to me. No, I think we'll go with this. Let's get you out there. You can start smashing layers. Go, go, go. You can go up from this one. Womp. Enjoy. Now then. That that sucked a little bit because we could have made so uh, a much, much more powerful unit. Because, it, the, oh my lord, you move so slowly. That is dire but you will get the job done you're a persistent hunter not you again really well poop okay let's try and make our unit and we'll go out to meet them if we've even got the components we need uh there is a good chance that we do actually so let's start putting all of them in yeah we're just going from the bottom all the way through, and we've got everything we need. Right, revive. Let's get you out there. And release. And direct control. Right, let's go. We need to go and meet the enemy on the field of battle. It would help if I could scroll. There we go. Yeah, go, go and just get right in there. Don't let them get to the tower. Are they going to just go to the tower? Oh, wow, you melted my titan with such impunity. Can I destroy you? Not even a chance. Do I have any defenders still here? No, I don't. Well, that's less amazing. Right, you're coming home. Bom. And you are now on defend the castle. You might be able to take it out. No. <laughs> All right, that particular enemy is really, really quite a nasty piece of work. However, I think it's just once we've defeated some of the Titans here, we're going to get some nicer Titan parts to uh, help us out a little bit. Uh, we could upgrade this. It's going to massively upgrade the damage, which will definitely help in this area. But I think it's time for us to get Meteors. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab that. But that's going to have to be it for this episode. We basically done a bit of grinding on the the second disc it hasn't gone nearly as well as the first one i am quite ashamed but uh nevertheless hope you're having fun i definitely feel that we're learning more and more 
I made a massive flub with not getting the uh, the armorer's workshop rather than the armory upgrade, uh, as that meant that we couldn't really field super powerful uh, enemies. But honestly, against that enemy titan, I don't think it would have mattered. I'm almost feeling that it would be better for me to put together a large group of enemy, uh, sorry, of uh, undead to attack it rather than the titan. We'll have to see. But that is going to be it from me. Do let me know what you thought about this episode and the fact that the uh, the sudden difficulty spike in the second world and also possibly what, uh, what components you think would make for the uh, better artifacts for us. We are a very, very long way away from getting four artifacts at a time, but we've got a couple of interesting ones around here. Frankenstein's head, for example, seems like a pretty solid one. I think the arcane necklace is a given at this stage because that affects all undead and it, in such a, a massive way certainly this second disc seems to need that sort of uh, extra longevity but do let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and while you're there if you enjoyed this video then do remember to let saint algorithms know by massaging those lovely buttons but until next time and as always do take care